This is the new job that we had just had got. Apparently these iguanas come out here at a certain time of the day. We're gonna check to see if they're out. I don't recommend you driving off road with a little box car. That's what we're doing right now. I think I see one right there. It is. Oh, we don't wanna get trapped. Let's hop out for a second, see if we see them. That's a giant. Absolute monster. That's the name of the game. First big iguana, we're gonna put that on the tally. I say Florida's getting crazy. It's not an over-exaggeration. We're getting an influx of people out here. The weather is heating up and people are super impatient. Look what just happened over here. Oh my goodness. Shout out to the boys in blue and the paramedics. They came down here mad quick. I was able to offer assistance to those folks. That was a pretty bad wreck. But like I was saying, Florida, it's just different out here. It's a tropical atmosphere. Being called out, but hey, let's go out. Let's check it out. We got a couple hours to spare. Let's see what we can do. A little bit, there are some big lizards out right now. Big, big lizards. I've been going out the last couple mornings with no success. It's finally cooling down right now. It's the evening time. About four o'clock. Last three hours of the day. Last time for the iguanas to bask. I got a picture to show you right back here. There's a massive bull in the bush. These iguanas, they, they plotting right now. They smell the mangoes coming in. The flowers let off a scent, a fragrance, and they, they, they hone into it. Iguanas are smart. This one right here, he was at? Hey, that big iguana was out of here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see some more. Finally caught up with him. That's a nice one. Instinctively, they still know to go by the water. Big mango munches. Getting them right now for that peak season. We're going to our other customer's house. Pretty sure she's got a couple of them out. If all of them are out like this right now, let's go ahead. Let's put these guys up in the bag. All right. 
Now it's time for a well-deserved Gatorade. Sir, electrolytes, super important. The amount of sweat, take a minute, let's rehydrate. As well, I think right now we had a peak time. It's been super hot, it's been in the hundreds last couple days uh so even you know right now it's still in the 90s still hot but you know anything over 95 degrees too hot for an iguana he might be out there for a minute or two but that's all he's not going to be sticking around okay back back over here there was a report of a bunch of giant iguanas i don't know if they're still out if so we're gonna see if we can take care of some business Off that tree. This iguana was smart. He probably ran up on the back side to avoid being detected. Oh, shoot. Right there. Like I told y'all folks, big iguanas are starting to come out. There's a massive one right there. We just plucked them right out the tree. I guarantee you there's more, but our time here is up. We gotta head out. I got some traps to check. We're gonna come back, man. We're gonna be signing contracts. We're gonna be bagging iguanas. We're gonna be collecting bounties. So you guys saying you guys got geckos too, right? Or salamanders. No, it's like white salamanders. Well, if you go in the front door, it's like a, there's a top part. It's like they usually all just hang right there. It's usually during the nighttime. Salamanders, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. Resemblance to that one that was in your bush. I don't know. But, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, they're iguanas. But the thing is, is I'm an ape. Who would win in a fight? Godzilla or King Kong? They're iguanas. They're lizards. But I'm a pine man. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everybody showing love to the channel, man. We've grown it so big. We got a huge network. We got a huge fan base. None of this would have ever been possible without all you loyal fans out there. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. The boys are out working on some other projects as well. But summer is basically here, guys, in a month or two. It's going to be Jurassic Park out here. So we're going to be doing a membership on the channel as well. So when we live stream and when we do stuff, you guys can stand out. We can answer uh, more questions, more comments. I just want to show you guys something. Look at all those giant iguanas. Got a couple of these dragons hanging out here in this field. Jeez. We got one out, we're out.
waited all day and now the dragons are out. Massive, massive dragons. It's insane. All four of them were massive. For all those that don't know, Iguanas look for four different things. Grass, water, food, trees. Those are the four things that makes an iguana happy. But unfortunately, that includes, you know, gardens. That includes insect butterfly habitats. So we got we got landscapers out here. So we'll leave one there. We'll have two right and then the one for the small ones right here in the back. I think we'll be good. You can see right here, these guys already did a number on this. This was just flourishing just a couple days ago. Look at that poor baby caterpillar right there. Where is he at? Where you at, buddy? There he is. Poor baby caterpillar. It's insane. Let's go talk to our customer. There's another caterpillar right there. Let's go talk to her. All right, this is why you gotta love Olight. So far, I've seen two of them. There's one buddy right there. We got another big buddy right there. It's a big buddy. I did see two other night annoyed. You can see them. A good time to notify you, let you guys know that it's a go also the night anoles we're going to take those guys out as well because they are threatening the caterpillars for the butterflies if you guys remember trying to keep this butterfly garden nice and healthy with no pressure from invasive species Too. The reason why we want to take these guys out, we talked to the customer. They are insectivores, they do prey on caterpillars. There he comes. He's coming down one way or another. Came. And we did our work, man. That's a job well done. Out of the six targets, got them all. From iguanas to night and alls. Now, like, there would be a lot less pressure on that butterfly garden. These guys out the equation. 
Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Right now, we have a few trivia questions. First person to get them right, you'll be shouted out in the next video. Trivia question number one. What do you call a group of iguanas? Trivia question number two. What season is coming up? And trivia question number three. What lizards were eating the caterpillars? First person to get these questions right will be shouted out in the next video.